In his opening speech, the Director General of Inam Diyazikiwe Memorial Lecture, Chineme Oyenke, called on the Fiji government to take ownership of institutions named after the late national hero. We hereby repeat ourselves to the federal government under Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to approve to us a large space here in Abuja to build a military center and a befitting Zig Center for national unity. Our group that intend to reach out and partner with the government of President Bola Tinubu through his Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory. Former Governor of Niger State, Dr. Babangida Aliu, and the Sudan of Sokoto, Mohamedou Abubakar III, who was represented by the Emir of Wakzi, admonished Nigerians to cultivate the principles of Dr. Unamdi Azikiwe, who fought for the dignity and unity of the country, regardless of his place of birth. Former politician, the, the best that Nigeria had produced, one at the beginning, Zik wanted one Nigeria. While other regionalists or other people who are describing Nigeria as a geographical expression, he was saying he was for one Nigeria. What our forefathers have done, it seems that we have derailed from it. And I want to use this opportunity to ask Nigerians that we should come back to the way our forefathers actually gave the foundation of Nigeria. Wife of late Dr. Unamdi Azikwe, Professor Uche Azikwe, guest speaker and other guests at the lecture expressed their various views on the life and principles of Nigerians' founding fathers. Will power to continue believing in Nigeria. Because when we hear these social media people saying nonsense, we feel bad. But with something like this, we know that Zeke is still alive. Based on the ideology of Zeke, because Zeke said, look, you saw America, how much they thrived, how much they were successful because they were united, irrespective of their divisibilities. So he brought this back to Africa, and I wanted for him to have a united state of Africa. But of course, when that dream could not work out, he continued with his ideology and sacrificed his own executive prime ministership. When they come together, you see the beauty of this country. Highlight of the event is emphasis on the importance of imbibing the values of patriotism and enviable attributes exhibited by Nigerians' founding fathers, which the speakers unanimously agreed is a guaranteed route to successful nation building. Gloria Afajibe reporting for BTV News.